bertempat di ruang 20 Palais des Nations Geneva Swiss pada November lalu, perwakilan Aceh Sumatera National Liberation Front yang berpusat di Swedia pertanyakan penegakan HAM di Indonesia khususnya di Aceh. Forum on Minority Issue merupakan ajang membahas tentang masalah nasional, etnis, agama, dan bahasa untuk kaum minoritas. Pertemuan itu dihadiri oleh perwakilan negara serta organisasi regional, aktivis HAM, dari berbagai belahan dunia. Delegasi ASNLF yang diwakili oleh Asnawi Ali memaparkan kondisi Aceh secara umum selama konflik bersenjata hingga pasca tsunami yang melahirkan perdamaian antara GAM dan RI. ASNLF meminta adanya perubahan mendasar pada institusi sipil dan meminta minta institusi sipil agar diperdayakan. Selain itu, ASNLF juga meminta tidak ada lagi praktek kekebalan hukum atau impunitas di Indonesia. Asnawi Ali mengatakan bahwa hingga saat ini rakyat Aceh masih menginginkan perubahan terkait hak politik, ekonomi, sosial, dan budaya. Mr. Chairman, 12 years after the natural disaster and 11 years after ending of armed conflict, much of its infrastructure might have been rebuilt, but the people of Aceh is still desperately struggling for its fundamental changes in civil, political, economic, social, and cultural rights. Many human rights organizations have also recommended prosecution of this responsible restoration of civil and institution and the culture of impunity with the military and reallocation and of resources between the central and provincial government. Mr. Chair, In finding a durable solution to the complexity of the problem, Indonesia should review its old policy towards Aceh, particularly with regard to fundamental freedoms, such as freedom of expression and the right to self-determination of the people of Aceh. Sementara itu, perwakilan Indonesia yang diwakili oleh Sekretaris Duta Besar Republik Indonesia di Jenewa, Sondang Anggraini, membantah tudingan yang dilontarkan oleh ASNLF. Menurut Anggraeni, Indonesia merupakan negara yang menghormati HAM dan memiliki kebebasan berekspresi bagi warganya. Proper and timely responses given during the humanitarian crisis. Mr. Chairperson, my delegation would also like to reaffirm that the protection and promotion of human rights of all Indonesian citizens is fully guaranteed by our constitution. Indonesia is a consistent proponent on the advancement of international cooperation and genuine dialogue in our common endeavors in the promotion and protection of human rights at all levels, including at national levels. Nevertheless, we do, we, we do all know that no country has a perfect human rights record, and we continue to take efforts to uh, take concrete measures to incorporate our strong human rights mechanisms. Mr. Chairperson, programs and policies based on prosperity, justice, rule of law, and respect for human rights, including freedom of expression and of opinion, continue to be fully implemented. Dari Jenewa, Swiss, Tim Liputan Puja TV melaporkan.